Alexander the Great Idiot was moving towards India on the way was Persia, ransacked the Persian Empire, killed every male member of the royal family, went in search of this man sitting there with a heap of bones. This happened when Alexander the Great Idiot had this dream of conquering the whole world, but at that time in history, the important part of the world and even today is, but at that time it was significantly so, was everybody wanted to conquer India because of the wealth and the culture and the most prosperous nation on the planet, all these things. So he was moving towards India on the way was Persia. So he ransacked the Persian empire, killed almost all the male members of the royal family. And then he wants to leave, move towards India. But he needs somebody, a vassal king to manage that. Somebody who is his puppet who will manage the kingdom for him. You can't just pick up somebody and put them up in those days. They must be of the royal family, otherwise people will not gel with that. So he started looking, but unfortunately he had killed every male member of the royal family. Then somebody said, there is one prince who left the family long time ago and he spends all his time in the graveyard. The Persian people have this, that they're dead, they neither bury nor burn. They're very smart people, even today. They're very smart people. Why waste firewood on the dead? Fuel. Why pollute the air by burning? Why take the labor of digging holes in the earth? Just leave it for the birds and other scavengers to eat the meat. Then the bones alone you bury, which is easy because after hundred people have died, one colossal digging you have to do, easy. I'm just saying, this is their way, this is their tradition. So this young prince left the family for years, he's been just sitting in this graveyard, watching these bones, trying to realize something. There's a whole tradition in India that yogis, first part of the training is they're sent to the cremation ground, go sit there and watch. So Alexander went in search of this man. So he was sitting there with a heap of bones. Alexander said, see, I will make you the king. You just be there as a king. I will take care of everything. My soldiers will manage everything. My people will manage everything. You just be the king, sit on the throne, wear the crown. We'll take care of everything. Then this prince looking at a heap of bones here, like a disappointed vulture, because vulture is disappointed if the bone doesn't have meat. Like that, he is looking at it and says, see, so many have died here, many of them killed by you. And uh, some are rich, some are poor, some are royal family, some are ordinary people, some are high, some are low. I've been trying to make out through these bones, which one is high bone, which one is low bone, which one is royal bone, which one is ordinary bone, which is a rich bone, which is a poor bone. I'm not able to get it, can you tell me? Alexander looked at it, this is too complex for me, he just left and went away. It was too much for him. The most precious thing is your life, it is slipping away. You are thinking this and trying to find explanations for the drama that's happening around you, time is going away. If you could stop time and discuss how your husband is not okay, we can do it. But time is going away. But we are investing time in things that we don't care for. If you knew time is going away, you would not invest in things that you don't care for, isn't it? So I'm thinking of 
providing, uh, creating a device, we are working on it right now, that every day it's reminding you, oh, you are fifty years of age, fifty percent of the sands of time are gone. And it, as you see, it is just going away. You've seen the old hourglasses, that was just telling you the hour is getting over. This we make it little enlarged to see how your life is getting over all the time. Because if you sit, it goes away. If you stand, it goes away. If you do something wonderful, it goes away. If you do something nasty, it goes away. You did nothing, it goes away. <laughs> this is the nature of time and life. If you want to rise above the time process, there is a way. But that also you must dissolve in a way. Otherwise, as long as you are a slave of time, it's best that you are conscious that time is slipping away. There is no time in this life to do anything that genuinely does not matter to you. Yes or no?